Hi class, this is the trig ratio challenge to finish off our trig ratio block. So we're going to start off with a video here. I know you won't be able to hear it, but you can always follow along with this link yourself, okay? So this is not far from the village where my family's from in Italy. And um, we can see they have this zip line here. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can hear it here. So these are a lot of fun. Okay, not only is the Italian countryside beautiful, but you can see from that cliff top there, well, you will see, there's the base. Some of my family's gone off this, it is a lot of fun. Whee, down he goes. And you can see that tiny little dot there, that's the person. So these things are huge. Across the beautiful valley there. Choo, choo, choo. Anyhow, you get the picture. So, isn't that amazing? All right, I'm going to pause the video there and let's get on with the challenge, okay? So, we're going to try and figure out the height of a zip line. For, uh, well, the height of a cliff for a zip line. Um, so this is my first wonderful drawing. So there is you standing, um, looking up at the cliff from a distance away. We don't know how far the distance is and we don't know how high the cliff is. So we really don't have a lot of information at this stage. So I want to then, instead of just having a side on view like this, hopefully that gives you a good picture, let's think of a top view. So that T is T for the top of the um, cliff, and X is the distance. So you started standing at um, rock number one. You lay down a rock here, and then you lay down another one in a, in a line that's perpendicular to the di direction to the bottom of the cliff there. Um, and so I've marked it in colors, so hopefully they stand out for you. The, these rocks are 20 meters apart, um, is, and these are the two pink ones here, okay? Then you walk back 110 meters, and maybe the green and the blue don't really stand out a lot there, but yeah. Okay, so, and then you lay down rock three, which should be separate to the shouldn't stand up so much with the uh, meters, okay? And I'll just neaten up that 110 meters as well. So, um, and then, so you've walked back 110 meters. Your first two were uh, 20 meters apart in this line here. Then another 110 meters back, you make another line that is parallel to the first, so the white line is parallel to the pink line and that is 21 meters long and of course the whole thing is um, there's 110 meters between the parallel lines so um, you're going to use these measurements to draw two similar triangles and figure out the distance um, that rock one is from the cliff okay so you're going to use these two and your distance to your, uh, I don't know if you can see my my white finger dot there, but um, hopefully the mouse stands out a bit more. So you're going to figure out using these two and these two as parallel, their distance all the way back to here. Okay, so you're going to draw some tr uh, similar triangles. Then once you've done that, um, you're going to pretend that you've downloaded a clinometer app um, to your phone. I've got one of those, they're, they're widely available. And you use this to measure the angle of elevation from rock one to the cliff. And um, we're gonna assume that we've measured it to be 19 degrees. So based on the distance you figured out and the angle of elevation of 19 degrees, the question is how high is the cliff? Okay, that's step two. And then looking at that, um, zip line we just saw you could see how fast they go that really wasn't a steep angle of descent okay so we're going to pretend that 15 degrees is the safest you can well we won't say the safest but 15 degrees is the fastest that allow um, a, a, a zip line 
So the steepest descent for a zip line that's allowed. So if you go back to rock three, which is 110 meters further back, will the angle of depression be safe for a zip line? Okay, so let me summarize those questions again. Uh, use similar triangles to figure out the distance from the first rock to the cliff. And question two, the angle of elevation is 19 degrees from the first rock to the cliff. So what is the height of the cliff? No, they should be question marks, shouldn't they? Um, and then step three, will the angle of depression be less than or equal to 15 degrees from the top of the cliff to the third rock, which is 110 meters further away? All right, so hopefully you can submit your answers to that in your own OneNote in the challenge section or the comment section of this YouTube video. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the next block. I hope you've had a good time with the trig ratios.